Um, what, what makes a, what makes a good brand? Um, I think I think it's a I think it's that's a that's a, a multi layered question. <laughs> well, I'm um, asking all layers. You know, you, all yeah, at once. you know we can talk Tell, about the we can talk yeah. about the practicalities of yeah. it. You know the. The brand consistency, you know, when, when people speak about Google, you think about the primary colors, you think about their font, mm -hmm. um, you think about the search bar. Um, I think about Gmail a lot and, and a lot of their other products, but, you know, there's a central thread in all of that, which is mm. kind of organizing all the world's information. Um, uh, you know, I think consistency is key, um, but I think, you know, on another level, um, different brands speak to different people. So if you, you know, love uh, um, sa extra satisfaction after a meal and have a taste for lung cancer, then Marlboro is your brand, uh, <laughs> you know. Um, it's all your clients. It's, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not a, mine. That's a great tagline. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're prone to crude oil and, you know, infecting like the sea in Mexico, then, then Shell or BP or, you know, th th that's exactly really your style. Exactly what goes through people's yeah, minds when they yeah. choose who they're getting their petrol in line with their mission statement. Is that their um, official yeah. mission statement? No, no, no. no. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, but you can really tell how I feel about that brand. You know, that said, <laughs> they're a good brand in that they have this consistency, right? They mm -hmm. have their colors. They, you know, sponsor Formula One, which is like the epitome of um, automotive, um, engineering so it's where they need to be as a brand um, mm. you know they're doing a really great job do I do I like them no um, are they are they doing well at branding sure mm. so it's part of it about speaking to people on an emotional level rather than a logical one yeah do you know what I mean that's that thing is it, it, invoking mm. emotion and I guess yeah I've always wondered about putting branding is how do you make that consistent you know how do you mm. so I, I see Nike and I think well Nike sponsors the best football teams you know they're the best Nike for me, just do it, be the best, be excellent. But not everyone says it. Some people say, oh, no, I like Adidas, they're much better. And it's like, well, what's wrong with you, you it's Ryan? So it's about having a pers perspective, isn't it? Mm. I mean, at to that point on Nike, for example, you know, their, yeah. their brand proposition is if you have a body, you're an athlete. And mm. that, whole, that whole idea is that no matter whether you like or hate sport, you know, you mm. are, you are every, every individual is therefore classified as part, can be part and parcel of their brand world. And I think mm. brands who have, will mm. evoke a certain level of perspective really do a, a part, already a part and part of the whole you know hard job of, of getting people through the front door yeah. um, that's how I look at, at brands I, I think mm. you know the, the, the layered approach that you were talking about before is really interesting I for me it's what is going to make me step through that front door in terms of yeah. Yeah. being part and parcel of you know Nike mm. um, when they were making their company I think part of their brand essence was they started out as being a running company yeah. Um, initially uh -huh. and the idea was that you know you would put on their shoes and you would go for a run um, and I think part of the and I think you nailed it on the head marks is 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 the emotion mm. that 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 brand evokes and you and I think to myself you know if I was a runner you know after a run I would be quite stoked I'd be quite joyous the endorphins would be pumping through me and I would associate that feeling with with yes. Nike, and in a lot of the advertising, there is that kind of mm. that mm. joy, that outpouring of uh, of emotion. You know, you think about when you know, kind of Ronaldo scores the goal, and yeah. he's in the Nike boots, and everybody's like jumping out of their seats in the stadium. You know, it's 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 that emotion yeah. that you feel with that. Um, you know, Coca Cola. It's it's uh, their whole thing is based around joy. So, mm -hmm. you know, True. around yeah. Christmas time, they think to themselves, well, what's going to bring joy? Well, like Santa, right? <laughs> yeah. And he's red and white. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. Santa used to be green. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, until those pesky people at, at Coke got their hands yeah. on him and all of a sudden he's red. Um, I, so, I, I yeah. can't remember who said it, but someone said it's, uh, it's the gut feeling that you get when exposed to a company. And I think mm. the reason why... It is, as you said, emotionally driven is because we've got so many choices these days. Mm. It's not like you go into a few clothing stores and, you know, analyze the material they've used and then go and test out each product. You know, you have time to make a decision. You've got a million products. It's so accessible these days through Amazon or whatever. So you go with your gut feeling. You go with the emotions that you kind of connect, mm. how you connect with that company as a personality and how it kind of aligns with with your personality. Yeah.